Hey y'all and welcome back. Glad you could join me today. You know, it's that time of year. It's time of year for the office parties, the Christmas parties, the holiday parties, whatever you want to call them. Family get togethers, the tailgating. There's all kinds of reasons you need to make some finger foods. I'm going to show you a simple but easy way to make a quick, delicious finger food. We're going to make some cheesesteak sliders. Uh, granted, these are not traditional for this time of year, for Christmas time. They are great for tailgates, though, no matter when. But I promise you, when you take these to your office party, your family get together, whatever you're going to take them to, promise you, they'll be one of the first things gone. Very simple, just a few ingredients. It's not going to be hard at all. So let's go ahead and fire this thing up and show you some groceries. And we got to get to cooking these things. All right, let's get it fired up. I'm going to go all four burners today. And I'm going to go down to, I don't know, let's take it down to low. We might need to adjust, and if we do, hey, I'll tell you. Now, when I say there's just a few ingredients, I really do mean it. But let's start off right here. I went to the butcher and I had me some uh, shaved ribeye cut up here, as you see. Got to have a good ribeye. We have some bell peppers. We have some onions. Got that Blackstone cheesesteak seasoning. We're going to put them back here on some Hawaiian rolls. I've already cut them in half, so do just that right there. But you want to kind of leave them whole. The tops and the bottoms whole, just cut them in half. Got some butter to toast it up with. And of course, you got some provolone cheese. And now before you come at me about them peppers and onions, I know the Philly cheesesteaks don't have peppers and onions. That's why I'm not calling these Philly cheesesteaks. These are cheesesteak sliders. Well, got some white smoke. It's time to throw some groceries down on the griddle. We're gonna throw down a little bit of oil. Get some oil going there. And I'm gonna put some butter in there. Throw a little tab of butter. Let's get our peppers and onions going. Try not to break the bowl. Get them mixed around real good, that butter and that oil. And let's hit them with a little cheesesteak seasoning. Like that there. Oh yeah, now spread them out, just let them cook now. Now, let's put down some oil over here and get that meat to cooking. Spread it out. Dump your meat on here. Oh yeah, listen to that sizzle. It won't take this long at all right here. Add some cheesesteak seasoning to that meat too. Yeah, buddy, this is gonna be good. Now this is gonna be a very quick cook, as you see. Won't take long at all. These veggies might take longer than the steak, I don't know. Looks like I need to add a little more seasoning to that steak. I just don't see it on there. I like to see the seasoning. Let's try that. As you see, that steak is cooking up quick. That's okay. That's okay. So are these veggies. Let's go ahead and mix them together now. Oh yeah, look at that, y'all. I said this is gonna be a very quick cook. It's almost like a one take video, because I mean, this is quick. Man, it is not taking long at all for this steak and these veggies to cook up. I mean, look how that's turning out right there. So just keep it stirred up. Now I think I'm gonna go ahead and slide everything over to one side and start toasting that bread up a little bit. So slide it all over here. Honestly, because I don't want to overcook it, I think I'm gonna turn this far burner off over there, but it's gonna stay good and hot and still cook. 
it just won't have the direct heat. So let's kill that. Now, let's put down some butter and toast that bread up. Ain't nothing wrong with some butter bread. Yeah, buddy. Let's take the top and lay it back there. We'll take the bottoms and lay it there. So let's stir this stuff up while that bread is toasting. Man, look how that's turning out, y'all. That's gonna be so good. Look at that, that steak's good and tender. Yeah. And just looking how the steak's turning out, I might have wanted to cut it in little smaller pieces or strips, but I think it's gonna be okay. Let's take a sneak peek at this bread, y'all. Look at that. Let's go ahead and flip it. Get a toast on that backside. So while that backside's toast, let's go ahead and put down some cheese. We'll layer that meat, put down some more cheese, and we're gonna build these things. So let's get our provolone on here. I'm gonna put six slices on the bottom, like that. Let's see here, let's add some meat and, and veggies on here. Like so, oh man, yeah. Look at that, look at that. Oh, this is gonna turn out perfect. Let's top it off with some more cheese. I like mine cheesy. Y'all like yours cheesy? I like mine cheesy. So let's make it cheesy, cheesy, cheesy. More provolone. Gonna slide these out of the way just for a second. Grab your dome and a water bottle. And steam it up. Let that cheese melt on down. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, look at that right there, y'all. Oh, yeah. That's what we're looking for. So let's take the top, top them off, take them up, and try them out. Let's flip this over like that. Oh, look at that toast on the tops. Yeah, buddy. Get your cutting board. And take them up. There we go. Just look how these turned out right here, would you? Man, them things look good. Got that toast on them buns, all that cheese coming out, and that steak, and them peppers and onions in there. Oh, we got to try this out, y'all. Now, when I said these are going to be quick, I meant these are quick. I mean, look how quick these came together, but look how good they turned out. Now, if you don't want your buns toasted quite as much, turn the heat off. I think I kind of over-toasted a little bit, but it's, I think it's going to be okay. Let's try one out. Look at that. Oh, yes, sir. Look at that cheese pull. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Look at that, y'all. Look, it won't stop. That. What do you do with this? I mean, look at that. Mmm. Mm. You better make a bunch of these. Wow. Mmm. The flavor just don't stop. These are good. These are really good. You better make up more than what I just made because these are going to get gone quick. You probably eat what I made by yourself while you're cooking the rest of them. Super simple, really easy, uh, and cheesesteaks. Right, let's, let's just face it. You can make them however you want. If you want mushrooms, jalapenos, whatever you want on here, put them in here. Make them yours. This is just a quick, simple, easy recipe right here. You see how cheesy they turned out? I'm telling you, I'm going to take these to a family get-together, and I promise you, they're going to go on quick. So I hope you enjoyed the videos real quick, I know. But sometimes, hey, this don't take long, and that's what you want. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time.